how much money will you have in your back pocket after budget 2023? I can never do this. Marion Ryan from taxback.com is here with her budget calculator. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, Marion, of course, there's lots of questions, uh, lots of people are trying to calculate. So currently, as it is right now, workers pay 20% on any income they earn up to 36,800 and then they pay 40,000 income tax. So what's changing? What are people going to get? Yeah, so I suppose there's 40%. a few... 40,000. 40,000, sorry, sorry, 40%. Sorry. Well, it's increased up to 40,000, yeah, so yeah, 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 it's yeah. an easy mistake to make right. there. So there's a few changes. So I suppose for kind of like every taxpayer out there, they've increased the personal tax credit by 75 euros and the employee tax credit. So that's 150 euros straight into everyone's pocket immediately there, if regardless of how much you're earning throughout the year. And then the cutoff point, as you mentioned there, has been increased by 3,200 euros up to the 40,000 mark, mm -hmm. which means that's another 3,200 euros that you're paying 20% tax on rather than the 40% tax. So that's 800 euros if you're a 40,000 okay. euro earner or if you're a family, if you're a married couple there, that's going to be 1,600 euros potentially in okay. your pocket there. So it, it's really good. It's great. We would have hoped it would have been more, but... So, yeah, because the thing is, is, is that one thing we didn't get time to put to Leo Rager for an awful lot of people, and we're talking about social welfare and everything, inflation is eating up an awful lot of this, mm. right? Because inflation is running at more than what a lot of people are going to get. Absolutely. Like, I suppose, like, we, if we had got 800 euros as a single person this time last year in the budget, it would have been a bonanza. Yes. We would have been delighted with it. But, like, it's been eaten up by everything there. 8.5% so, like, like inflation. Yeah, so, like, stuff, there's yeah. things that people are saying to me in the last 24 hours that we've been forgotten, we haven't... We haven't got what the families have got. Like the real winners here, and I hate to say the word winners <laughs> because yeah. I don't understand any winners at the moment, but the people this budget was really targeted for the squeezed middle income families with a couple of kids in childcare. They've, yeah. They've been looking at this to try and make this happen for them for a long time. So yeah. then if you have a couple at home and they're earning maybe 40,000 each, so their combined salary is 80,000. How are they benefiting? Yeah. Are they re the real winners here? Yeah, they, as I said, reluctant to say real winners, but yeah, they, they're, they're going to come out better off. With, it'll be about 1,600 euros they will combine in, when it comes to tax. And that's not even taking into account the, the child changes in the childcare subsidies, which could be a value of about 2,000 euros for them. That's The, the 1,600 euros is just taxation. Mm -hmm. So that's alone. the taxation that they're getting? Yeah. That if you've got a couple of kids in creche, because obviously they're bringing yeah. in... 25% um, uh, reduction. Crash, and yeah. then they've got the free books for kids in primary school and yeah, all that. and the 600 euros energy credit there. So there's a lot they're targeted specifically. So what the do you think they might be end up getting by, like, if you add all that up? Well, if you have, say, two kids two in children, credit, yeah. that's 4,000 euros. Right. You have your 1,600 euros there from the... Your tax. From the tax, so that's... Five and a half thousand, say, if we're just going to go roughly around your another six hundred euros for your energy credit. So that's six thousand euros mm. there. Now I know but it is better it's off after yesterday. Yeah. So a married couple with two children earning about eighty thousand euros are better off by about six thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I hate to say they were better off because it no, is but I know what yeah. I mean. But they hadn't got that yesterday. They can now say this isn't no the the cost of living crisis will ease into that. But that six thousand euro that they didn't have yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's over this year and next. Like the energy the energy credit is two hundred this year and four hundred next year there. Yeah, but you could say between five and six thousand yeah. euro. It's just when you think about eleven billion euro, and I'm not bringing health into it, but for an awful lot of people, when it comes to the money they're meant to be getting back, it's just being eaten by inflation, like that for, for so, yeah. so many people. But so if we've got, let's take the situation where, and I know it's, it, it, there are families like this, you've got one parent who works outside the home and one parent who works in the home. What's going to be the situation Yeah, so there? they're actually going to be a little bit less well off <laughs> um, than the married couple that we just spoke of there with the combined income of 80,000 euros. So they would have about 1,600 in tax, the married couple with the two incomes, with the one income because they don't have the same mm. level of a cut-off point. Okay. It's about 1,000 euros. So there's 600 euros, they're kind of less off. So that's, it's a funny one there. Like you've got the same family income but because one of you is at home yeah. looking after the, the two kids yeah. that you have there. Now, they will benefit of the home carers tax credit. That was increased by €100 Euros there, okay. there yesterday. So they will benefit from that there. But they, like when we said five, €6,000 Euros for the married couple with the two incomes, with the one income, you can nearly knock another €600. Euros off less that. Off. It, it's just okay. a, a queen's... Uh, yeah. And we had Leo Radger there saying to, to us just a couple of moments ago that um, singletons who are on their own they're really the ones that are probably not benefiting very much from this budget at all. No. So and he admitted that. Yeah, it, it's, it's, they weren't the, the target, per se, for it. They weren't the people that they were trying to help out. It would be kind of about €830 Euros is what you will get in your tax. So that's within the changes of the 
cut-off point that I mentioned, the changes in tax credits. I never mentioned there's a slight the tweak to the USC rates as well, the, the bans there on that. Yes. So, so you're getting a little bit more about it. They've, they've reduced that. Yeah, they increased the 2% yeah. ban for people there. Basically, that was introduced because with the increase in the minimum wage coming in, they didn't want all that getting eaten up yeah. by USC there. So they, they've increased that slightly there, which has knock-on benefit, I suppose, for all taxpayers, not just the, the minimum wage workers. So that's the re they're the only benefits, really, that the single people are getting, unless you're, you're renting and you're lucky enough to get the, the 500, 500 euro rent. Euro. Well, let's talk about the renters here. So say, yeah. let's take a couple who are living together, but they're not married, they're paying rent, they're hoping to get on the property ladder, which is what so many people are trying to do. How are things looking for that couple now? Yeah, so they would be about, if we take into account the rent tax credit and everything that, they'd be about 1,300 euros better off each when it so comes if, to tax. Because if you're, if you're there, you, you both get the 500 euro. Yeah, you, so that's the you thing with the rent. It, right? Yeah, so the, you both get this, so 1,000 euros you'll be getting towards the, the rent. Okay. And then if you add on your, your 830 that I mentioned for the single single person, they, they yeah. don't get the benefit of the joys of sharing their tax credits and of the course. rates and bounds between mm. them. But if they're, if they're on a combined income, say, of 100,000 euros, they're both going to have used up their, their cut-off point anyway there, so there's no, there's nothing to be shared over and back between them there. But yeah, they'd probably be about 2,600 2, euros kind of better off as a combined, but 1,300 euros each. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. What about pensioners who are on small private pensions? And, and what, I mean, we heard this yesterday that it's disgraceful the amount that they're only getting. And I know a lot of people were sort of saying... Oh, with the state like, pension, yeah. Yeah, well, and alone, just like, how are pensioners after yesterday's budget? Yeah, so when we come to, when we look at the tax side, like the state pension isn't taxable mm. unless you have an additional pension on top. So say if someone has a small private pension of 4,000 euros on top of there, when it comes to their tax, it's going to be about 600 euros. They're going to be better off okay. there last year. But I suppose the, the thing we've taken into account then, they're getting the additional fuel allowances. Hopefully they're getting the 12 euro increase yes. in, in the pension and stuff like that. I, I know it's not a huge amount, but I suppose, again, they weren't the real real target of, mm. of, of the budget when it comes to taxation side of things. Mm. I think they were, they'd benefit more from the, the social protection elements. Uh, and just to, uh, very quickly to mention uh, carers, because I know Family Carers Ireland were looking at this and they were saying that an awful lot of these are once off and they're not systematic yes. and they were worried about that because uh, there's one thing, there's been changes to the rules around fuel allowance, which will address the anomaly affecting those in receipt of the half rate of carers allowance. So they are trying to bring in something there, but again, the carers weren't, um, and, and there's half a million home carers saving the government country, 20 yeah. billion euro for all of that. Uh, now people can, like there is a budget calculator on taxback.com. Yeah, we do, yeah. So we kind of, if you were, you own circumstances, if you want to pop it into it there, if you text the word budget to 50400, put a few questions there, you married, you single, what's your, your income levels there? And we'll be able to come back to you and let you know what it would mean for yourself. That's great. Marion Ryan, Consumer Thank Tax so Manager much. at taxback.com, letting us know that singles are really valued, as yes. always. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it, guys? Oh. <sighs>